The Snars Vangers. The Snars Vangers. The Snars Vangers. Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, we first uh, we got many breaks and opened up for many bands. The, the first one, I suppose, was uh, when we first started uh, around 1964, 65. We opened up for uh, oh, the, the Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. Yeah. 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 Um, but the keyboardist, uh, I don't know. I think he really loved us because um, he went right home to start recording our songs after that. I remember that one of the reasons the Gogos wanted us to open for them is because we had opened uh, successfully for the Runaways. Ah, the Runaways. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mom. Jerry, Bob. Oh, yes, oh. all of them. John, Sandy, Alita, hey, Vicky. Yeah. Yeah, they really loved us a great deal. The Star Swingers. We hate them. They did all our songs. <laughs> We hate them. The more press of Shaw's was opening up for Blondie. Oh, yeah. yeah the, uh, when was that? The 1978. Uh, parallel line? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, one way or another. Alright, it's fine. Guy, feel They understood what the Snarlswangers meant and were all about. Yeah. Especially that drummer. By the end of the show, he was hailing us with his drumsticks. Snarlswangers? I remember those guys. What's with them? They opened for us somewhere in 1978 and they come out and they do all our songs. I hate those guys. But uh, I remember distinctly some of the better ones like, oh, the Gogos. Do you remember that? That oh, was a fantastic show. Back in 1982. Oh. Uh, some sort of, they were having a barbecue? Ba barbecue tour, that's yeah. what they called it. But yeah. I didn't see any barbecues on that tour. No, they didn't have any barbecues. We stood up for the high ideals of all the Google's pop sensibility. Schnozwingers. I remember them. I think that was the tour, that was 82, the Serious Barbecue Tour. Those were those jerks. They came out, we came out, and they'd done all our songs, totally butchered them, and made a mockery of us and everything that we stood for. Another great one was probably around 1980 when we opened up for, for the knock. I'll uh, get the knock. My little pretty one, my pretty one, when you're gonna eat me. to do several shows with them. Well, almost several shows. They were a little standoffish at first, you know. Uh, but I believe they came yeah. around to the Snarzwangers ideals and the way of thinking. A manifesto, you may say. We have changed their mind. Oh, well, you know, the thing about the Schnazis, and or as we knew them, the Schnazis, is, it, you know, at first when we met them, they were kind of nice and fans and all that. and. Uh, I think it came out some casual conversation that, that Doug and myself both happened to be half Jewish. Well, also, do you remember, they, yeah. they kind of got a little weird, you know, and I kind of condescending, you know, and they'd leave pamphlets around the dressing room. Finally you know? had to get the restraining order. Again. Yeah, I'm telling, well, that was after I asked uh, Fritz, I guess it was, I said, um, when, when are you going on tonight? And he said, the Anschluss is due at 900 hours. So we figured it was just, it was getting a little creepy. So we had to ask them off the tour. Terrible experience. Mm -hmm. Well, then sometime around the mid 80s, well, the Schnauz thing just kind of broke up. One of those things, you know, you go through personal changes and things like that. Music of the 80s, horrible. Uh, There's basically no one we wanted to open for anymore. No? Uh, until uh, we did open for Jellyfish. And so we did have kind of a reunion of sorts for that. Boy, opening up for them was a bitch. Oh, terrible. Four part harmonies. Bye. Uh. Well, a couple of years ago, we were contacted by the Poptopia Festival in Los Angeles. And they uh, sent us some tapes and we heard the music of the LA pop scene. And finally we realized, 
Here's some good music again. So we said, why not? Schnauzwangers will come over and play at Poptopia. Something sure. to get excited about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, last year when we came to the pop festival, we did songs by uh, Valoria and Cockeyed Ghost and uh, Hutchinson and the Negro Problem. Yeah, in Austria we don't have this kind of problem, so this is a new kind of music for us. Yeah. yeah. And, and now, now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Schnauzbangers! 